Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. 48 after the hour on this Thursday. Welcome back. And we had some nice precipitation yesterday. I say nice because it was in the form of rain. Mm -hmm. Most places. <laughs> Most places. We did get a little <laughs> bit of a mix yeah. for some. Mm -hmm. But sun today. Sun today and warmer temperatures. Mm -hmm. So we went from, uh, you know, kind of a cold, dreary, wet rain, a little bit of snow yesterday to sunshine. Wearing shorts this afternoon. Yeah. I might break hey out yeah. my flip flops. Wow. <laughs> Any excuse to take out my flip flops. Like. Here's my satellite and radar. Mostly clear. This map has been very busy over the last few days. We've got a few radar returns there in northeast Montana. But what I want to show you is uh, kind of this trough that's built around us. That's what's kind of given us that cool air influence over the last few days. You can see that trough here, dry air moving into Iowa right now. But what we have is kind of a cool start. When we lost that cloud cover, our temperatures dropped lots of 20s and some 30s out there. 25 chilly this morning in the capital city, 33 in Bismarck, 35 in Williston, and 29 in Dickinson. Wind speeds are out of the south. This is important. The southerly wind speeds here helping to pull in some warmer air, and they will increase this afternoon. So we'll have a little bit of a breezy afternoon. We've also got a slight chance for an afternoon and evening shower, maybe a thunderstorm or two, possibly hearing a rumble of thunder. Another cool down is on the way. So let's talk about today. Lots of sun. Again, that southerly wind increasing, especially this afternoon, and then we'll have a slight chance for just a very hit or miss rain shower, thunderstorm. You can see where that's going to begin, mostly in the west around the Bakken into uh, eastern Montana and then that pushes through this evening. Again, this is going to be very hit or miss, so I've given everybody a slight chance for a rain shower. Again, enough instability to hear a rumble of thunder, maybe see a little flash of lightning, and then that's going to be with the cold front moving through. On Friday, we're going to have a nice and sunny day with warmer temperatures, but here are your temperatures for today. Really upper 50s, low 60s will feel pretty good out there, and we are looking at a warm-up for tomorrow back to the low to mid 60s. We do carry a slight chance for some showers and thunderstorms on Friday afternoon as well with another cold front. And that cold front is actually going to bring us down on Saturday for those daytime highs. We're talking only around 50 on Saturday. But notice that here's the Dickinson three day forecast. We are breezy, mostly breezy in the afternoon today. We'll keep it breezy for Friday and into the, at least the first half of Saturday. Here's the Williston three day forecast 60s for a few days and then the upper 40s. There's that cool down, a stronger cold front moving in on Friday night into early Saturday morning. We'll bring those daytime highs down for all of us around 50 for Minot. And the wind speeds, I think we'll get a little bit of a break from them on Sunday, and then they'll pick back up on Monday with chances for some rain. I actually, in the last half an hour, tailored this seven day just a little bit with a few model runs that have come out for Tuesday. You know, I kind of dropped the rain chances a little bit, but still calling for a slight chance there, 30%. Here's the Bismarck seven day forecast. Uh, you know, you could see there we're going to start off a little cool for the beginning of next week back into the 50s. That's going to be around 10 degrees below average. And remember, average is just kind of the average of the last. 30 years mm. for the daytime high. Um, you're kind of getting that average of the daytime high there. But when you're still 10 degrees below, that's not unseasonable. Mm -hmm. So we're not right. unseasonable. You know, sure. starting off the week, this week in the 30s, yeah, it was yeah. unseasonable. But next week in the 50s won't be unseasonable. I can take it. I think I can too. Yeah, we'll manage. That's Thanks, a good Amber. thing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And if you're looking for something to celebrate today, let's check out our National Day calendar. It's uh, national.